How's it going, guys? Uh, I'd like to apologize if this recording is kind of like smushed in a sense where it has like black bar up top and black bar and bottom. Uh, that's completely OBS is doing because uh, the fact that I don't have a second monitor so I can't just readjust the size. <clears throat> OBS, I put it as like screen fit size so OBS will try to stretch it out or fit it to the proper size for this. So I do apologize. Uh, we're going to come in here real quick. Turn that down. Uh, this is TFT Team Fight Tech <coughs> Team Fight Tactics. I apologize. I have like a really annoying toothache, so it's just like kind of a pain to try to talk. Uh, it's also on mobile, so I know you guys seen the advertisements and stuff like that for it. Uh, but it's a really fun game. They just got an update where now that they're using Galaxy esque type characters, so. So just your normal standard ones. Now you have like a protector and dark star and so on and so forth. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, I did a first round of it. I got like fifth place just testing it out. So. Uh, but uh, TFT is a really fun game. I mean, most people like Summoner's Rift if they actually like the... Uh, prefer the action and stuff like that over, um, you know, strategy like this. <laughs> Are you not going up there? Okay. This must be lagging. Uh, this is your little sprite character. So, uh, TFT is like chess. So, if you're not good at chess or strategy movement type character uh, game uh, don't bother playing DFT <laughs> it's as simple as that you will not like it I gauge to play TFT once in a great while but I still prefer Summoner's Rift uh, the only problem I ever had with TFT is down here you get a random select of uh, five characters and the problem is this, this game's based off an of RNG which you don't know that which is random uh, number generator so it's basically uh how can i put in words based on your chances of getting that certain character that you actually need so for instance like if i want to get another annie you know i have like a one in four chance to try to get another annie um what the hell is this they adding a boss in here now that's new but from what I've seen of TFT, the RNG is so bad. And I mean, like, straight up terrible. I can drop, like, 40 gold and not get a single character that I need. So it's kind of like, eh. Uh, this is basically just a test out game because I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, let's see. Here. We've got two sorceresses. And over here, you have your little. Uh, character types so each character one typing mean will need a certain amount of types on the board to actually gain a bonus and for this instance you need two sorcerers to gain 20% spell power so there's that but like I said this is just this is just a straight up test out game so I don't know what a protector does but I think we got two of those bad boys so let's keep them and uh, you go against other players, and over here is like your ranking. Each person starts out at 100, and you know you just continue to pretty much try to outlast the next person. Uh, you need three characters, three of the same characters, to make a level two, and then you need three you need uh, three level twos to make a level three. So be wary of that when you start choosing random characters, though. So you're a protector. Uh, you can buy experience, which is to level up, so you can reach up to maximum of level 9. After that, you can't have, you can't go any higher than level 9, but you can have 9 base characters, but it does continue to cost more. And over here, you can refresh, you can use your gold right here to refresh and get brand new characters. So, choice option on that area too. So, the whole Galaxy Quest or Galaxy Quest, the whole Galaxy character thing, I'm still completely new because they changed a lot of stuff, especially typings. And this is one of the big hypes that people were waiting for. 
So, I'm still fairly new to this one, but previous old TFT, you know, I've gotten like first place like four times. So. Like two games I won just through straight up strategy of just choosing characters that I wanted. And then like two games that I won were just like completely just random picking characters. So. I don't know what a protector does. Okay. So, what does Protector do? Uh, protector shield themselves four seconds whenever they cast a spell. Their shield doesn't stack. Okay. Uh, and this is unranked, too, if you guys are curious. So. And you are... So, you're Protector Dark Star. Let's go with some Blade Master here. Last one I went with was Sorcerer Vanguard and got me like fifth place, so. But. I don't know, we'll see how long this stuff lasts. <laughs> uh, it's always good to have a strong front line and. Depending if you want to go one strong, two strong front lines, and the, and then pack a bunch of rangers, like range class characters in the back, totally optional. Uh, can you give me? <laughs> okay, that dude gets a random shout out. <laughs> uh, totally optional. I've seen people like go with just straight up defense. They'll have like three defense characters, and then just the rest of their back line is completely like summoners or. Uh, range type class like archers or even sorceresses. Yeah, I know I say that word kind of weird. I have kind of a lisp. Uh, and this is the little circle thing. This is your roundabout, which allows you to choose a random character. And each random, each random, I cannot speak. Each random character holds a certain random item too. So there's that. Uh, so you're the one I just chose. Canning your hand on there. I'm gonna switch you out for you. And, um, what am I forgetting here? Um, uh, but yeah, as I said, you want, a, you want a strong front line. Like I said, I've seen a lot of people pack, like, some heavy defenders and they'll just pack a bunch of archers. And the defender's job is basically just to hold the front line while your archer slowly picks them off. But, uh, just like Summoner's Rift. You can stack and build random type of uh, items, so which will give your character either boost, defense, you know, attack damage, more health. You know, it might benefit benefit your team. You know, in this case, this dude's kicking my butt with one of my favorite characters, which is Ari. I love Ari on Summoner's Rift. She's one of my mains. Come on, survive! You got this. Oh, he he might actually have this. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yes, that's what I'm talking about right there. That life steal right there just helps helped him out so much. Oops, that's not what I'm. Uh, I'm over here, click on him. Uh, base attacks, healed wear for 35 percent of the damage dealt. So that's really awesome. That's what kept him alive. Um. You plan. Got him to level two. Uh, the more wins you get, as you can see, the more gold you'll get too. So the more wins you can keep stacking, the more gold you'll actually have, which is actually really nice. Thank you, my Zoe. So. I think we'll save up the rest. And each one of your things usually goes up by four. Usually. I could be completely wrong on that. Mm, I apologize for the hiccups. But, uh, like I said, TFT is a really fun game. If you like strategy and, you know, kind of character-based uh, fights. So Maybe not always be for everyone, but... Choice optional, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see here. 
Let's see if we can roll that level two so you're not starving. We do want you. And uh, this update actually has all seven of my main alts that I play on Summoner's Rift, which is actually pretty cool. It actually had a few of them that it play that they had on the original TMT. Okay, these Groot guys have got to go down. We can't have you living now. Uh, occasionally, you'll have like little mini uh, jungle fights, which will take like random uh, enemies from like the jungle from Summoner's Rift. And put them in here, and you'll gain like a random random reward, or you'll gain gold stuff like that. Uh, the longer you tend to last in those jungle fights, the more you'll actually take on bosses. Like in the original one, you would take on uh, a dragon. You know, if you manage to get to like the top three, you would eventually take on the Baron. So <laughs> there's stuff like that too. Ooh, there's Ari. Okay, we already have level 2 Annie. I really want a rock of Arnie. Yeah, that's great. I think we'll switch out. Oh, actually, we can keep Zoe in there. That's alright, I don't care. Is that a Lucian? Nah, we don't want Lucian. No, 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 no. Give me Lucian. Sell Lucian. Thank you. Some of the characters went from like. And uh, you can see there's. White, green, blue, purple, and then gold. That's based on your character's uh, rank, in a sense. So you'll know how much they cost. Like, white ones will cost one gold, where uh, gold gold level characters will cost five. So there's that, too. Mm. Let's roll to level six. Let's get Ari out there. Star Guardian. <laughs> You're a sorcerer, right? You a sorcerer. Alright, we need to get one more sorcerer. Get one box out there. Oh. Tell you this, having a toothache is really goddamn irritating. <laughs> and only having your dentist up here only once a day. Is even more irritating because my dentist is only available on Thursday, so it's like, uh. We're we gonna pull this off? Mm, this will be a close fight. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're already up to seven straight wins. And your sprite will actually grow in size the more you tend to win or uh, spend in levels too, which is funny. Ooh. Time to go to work. Am I not bad? That was worth. Oh. Hate it does that. Sometimes the thing will actually stick and not choose the character I want, which is really irritating. Yeah, Ash is one of my main ones. Uh, Ari, Misfortunes, uh, Cass, uh, Tristina. I don't remember who the rest of the ones are. Lux. Most of my main alts are all completely uh, ranged characters. I can't play a melee character to save my life. I tried playing, tried playing Ribbon, and Ribbon's a fun character to play, but. Uh, the problem that I have with playing Riven is that your characters, or characters, your teammates, let <laughs> you win. <laughs> your my teammates will continuously choose squishy characters, and if anyone's ever played Riven, Riven is a Bruiser class, so she's basically all damage and no defense. And here I got a bunch of bunch of teammates choosing like Rangers and Sorcerers and stuff like that, and it's all dependent on me to try to hold out against the enemy team. It's just like, uh. <sighs> yeah, and this is another thing I don't like about Roundabout. If you're in first place or you're on a win streak, you get last pick. You don't get first pick, which is completely stupid to me. You know, if you're in first place, you should get first pick. No, you're in first place, you get last pick because it gives everyone else a chance. 
Why they did it built that way, I have n absolutely no idea, but I find it completely stupid. That's one thing I do not like. <laughs> not getting anything I need. To not a big surprise. <laughs> the way had the way they had this thing set up, so could go you. Mm, yeah. I have Lux, so depending on whoever I get more of, either Cinder or Lux, I'll choose. So yeah, as his character's gold, that's because he has a level three character. Uh this might be a problem. Or not. <laughs> uh, I think the highest win streak I was on was like a 14 win streak before I actually lost, so. We definitely want you. Ooh, kid, we have a Lux. So we definitely want you. Uh, do, 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 do. That's what I'm talking about. And you can lock it in so where your these your characters that you have locked in doesn't roll over, so you don't accidentally miss the chance of I really wanted that character, and then it's just like oops, you know, type of situation. We're gonna try to roll to level seven as best as quickly as possible, so that I can get Lux in there and gain, gain the bonus for the uh, sorcerer. <laughs> See, we might change you out. I mean, who's the most current? Uh, maybe not. If I can get, I'm gonna use that for that. See, I guess I got a whole bunch of level twos, but now I'm reaching the point where it's like my board is filling up, and I'm not getting the characters I need right now, which is kind of really irritating. And I still have a level one on my team. Which is definitely going to cripple my team if I don't get her to level 2 soon. Ah, uh, see, someone got level 3. Ah, uh, great. I mean, I've played games where I've had nothing but a full team of level 3s and still lost. Only because they managed to actually outbuild outbuild against me. So they had more of a uh, diverse item stack team. So... Just because you have a bunch of level threes doesn't mean you're necessarily going to win. Yeah, we're so close to. Who the hell are you? Oh, you can go. Are you kidding me? Come on. Ah. Get rid of that. Right, he's got a little three poppy. Ones you really want to watch out for is ones like this who have uh, static shiv because that attacks your entire team. And you want to watch out for ones that have guardian angel because it allows them to, if they die, it allows them to actually come back. And we just lost. Okay. I wasn't keeping track, but we might have been on like 11 esque win streaks. So. And these little gold. Uh, shrine looking things over here is every 10 gold you have you'll actually gain one of these so he has 40 gold right now and uh, in TFT if you have all five it usually means you have 50 plus gold which means you're gonna be hyper rolling which means you just continuously just cycle cycling through what is it? stop doing that uh, Uh, basically, hyper rolling is it allows you to continue to refresh until you actually get the characters you want to get them to level three. So there's that. Most people will usually stick until level seven because after that, unless they're getting lots of wins, it's just too expensive. <laughs> so 
see he's got 50 gold or more. Uh, he's got health regeneration too. Didn't matter. <laughs> so we're still in first place by a long shot too. Uh, actually, no, not by that much. I mean, what, nine points? So, that dead shot guy's got a four win streak already. Hmm. No one I want, and they're all completely useless. And you can see other people's teams and stuff like that. Uh, something I'm a little iffy about with TFT, just because of the fact that, yeah, it kind of makes it makes it more strategy-wise, where you can try to build your team against someone else's team. But at the same time, it's kind of like cheating in a sense too, because it's like you want to have that surprise. You don't, you don't, you know, you don't want to immediately know what the enemy team has. And then already be prepared for it. That's kind of like eh, lazy build, in my opinion, with TFT. But hey, that's a riot for you, so. Hmm, two people are on a four win streak, eh? Ah, he lost. Dead shots down to 75. Alright, let's see what we can get. I definitely want you. I usually will either go with ones that have items that I want or ones that I know that I can actually get a level 2 character. Okay, we're not getting that. A uh, level 2 character out of it. Of course, he chose a level 5. Okay. I guess I'm going to choose the guy with the health then. See, like I said, I don't like that. First... First... First place, last pick. No, that's just so stupid to me. <sighs> you can go. So I'm not using you. Let's stack that on you. Because he's been lasting pretty long, so. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, get our level two Lux, which we already have one, so that allows us to get another one. <laughs> and our Syndra too, so we need six gold. Ah, he's got a level three L Linona and um, level three Lucian. Oh, interesting. Hmm. This will be interesting. Oh, wow, he actually beat us. GG there, good buddy. <laughs> Usually if I'm like on a 10 plus win streak and someone actually manages to beat me, I'd be really surprised. And the only reason they tend to actually manage to beat me is for the fact that they uh, either have more level higher characters or they have better geared items. That's really about it. Syndra, so I'll just sell you. Still have to get to get a level two Zoe, which is really irritating. I'm gonna go Ari. I might switch her out for Annie, but Annie is already out there too. So, hmm. I think we'll still keep the characters we have right now. I've been winning, so. It seems like everyone's packing a little. Oh, great. He's got a mech Garen. That's game over. Yeah, super mech. That's one of the little features in this game. Is now They have now have mechs. Uh, so basically, they just allow you to have a boss on your team, which is really irritating. <laughs> they kind of really changed the whole TFT thing with that. Mm 
Seem pretty tough. But not tough enough. There's a level 5 eco. And there's a level, level 2 Annie I could use. Oh, great. He's got 50 plus gold. Yeah, I think this is where we're going to start losing. Everyone else is getting level 3s and stacked characters, and I'm still. You know, stuck off a bunch of level twos and having a level one on my team. It's like, like I said, the RNG and TFT is really bad. It really is. You know, I've gone from like first place down to last because I could just not get an RNG to save my save my butt. But at this, when at, at basically at the same time, you know a lot about actually building certain character uh, items and stuff like that from like playing Summoner's Rift or something like that, you know, you would have a really huge chance in TFT just because you know, you know, what's going to build on what, what character's strong with what type of item and stuff like that, so. I've only been playing League of Legends for about maybe a year, so. I'm still fairly new to it. Huh, he's level 8. Gonna be able to take this win? Nope. Damn. <laughs> Decently close, I guess. You know, if I can use a strain or strain, if I can usually go for like fourth or fifth place, you know, I'm happy with that. I don't really care about getting first place because just meh to me. I've been man I managed to achieve that four times in TFT, so. I don't really don't care what rank I get. <laughs> I just play for fun. And character placement is another big thing too. Where you have your characters placed. So be wary of that too. Uh, some of the maps tend to have little bonus elemental things. But I guess they took that out with the galaxy thing. Like for this one. for This one would be considered a fire map. Which would give you uh, one of your characters like an extra 20 or 30 life. Look at this, he's got three level threes. It's like, and I'm still stuck over here with two level twos. It's like, come on. Ah, TFT, your RNG kills me. I'm already at five losses. I actually had to stop playing TFT because it just started irritating me because the RNG was just so bad. I don't even know what I want. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take you because I know you're actually really good. Frozen Heart is another good one for line of defense because it freezes, it slows down your uh, opponents who are near your uh, character who has it, so...
Either way, it looks like I'll probably end up either end up getting one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll either end up getting sixth or seventh place, which is last, but can't be helped. All right, we haven't haven't got a single Zoe. What did I just sell? I don't know. You can get that out of here. I just accidentally sold someone. What the hell? Who the hell did I just sell? Oh, crap. So basically, the game just screwed me over by accidentally selling one of my characters. Ass. God damn it. I hate that. What it'll do is it'll take any of the characters you got from the roundabout and it'll immediately kick out one of your characters on the map. And I think I just accidentally sold my zone. Well, that's really goddamn irritating. And not what I meant to do either. Thanks, game. <laughs> uh, TFT, I swear. No, I have not, but if I get a level 3 in, that'll be nice. Ooh, level 3 s Lux, I'll take that. Thank you. First level 3, in the, close to the end of the game with me losing. <laughs> Thanks, game! Uh... You're going to post a lost compilation, huh, buddy? RNG is terrible in this game. It's like the end of the game, we're losing, and it's like, oh, here's a bunch of level, level threes for you now. It's like. And that's Khan too, he's a jungler. Basically a jungler's job is just to ambush ambush enemy team members on lanes so your team can actually manage to get the kill and stack up. Real pain in the ass if you don't know how to jungle. And you will come against that. It's like a tax on the shield. you will get complained a lot by your team members if you don't know how to jungle. One of the things I do not bother doing, because it's a nuisance. Hmm. So what, we might get like 5th or 6th place? It's last place to me, but whatever, I mean this is a bonus video. Oh great, he's got a mech. I don't know how the hell he has a mech, but... In this case, it doesn't look like it matters. I wanna... He stacked three characters in a mech. Huh. I don't know how that works. Either way, he's gone. <laughs> uh, so, looks like no matter what, we'll end up getting fifth place. Hey, that's fine by me. You know, I really don't care. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna try to roll for that level three R if we can get it. Which, of course, we're not going to because of the way this game thing is. And I have like a what's that? Thirty percent chance to get a green. <laughs> so basically, in other words, I have a. 
70% chance I will not get a Rory. All right. Okay, he's got four level threes. Mm, that might not matter. We getting this win? Yes, we are. <laughs> like I said, don't matter how many level threes you have, is who has the better built team. Come on, you know you want to give me that level three Ari. Ah! I hate when the game does that. You can drop like like I said before, you can drop forty gold and never get the character you need. The RNG is just completely terrible. <laughs> but this is like I said, this is just a bonus video. So whether or not if I continue to do more TFT videos is a really big maybe. And like I said, I apologize if there's any black borderlines. Not much else I can do about it because that's all OBS until I can manage to get a second monitor and then I can just pre-adjust it. Because OBS uh, League of Legends doesn't allow you to minimize the game so you can pre-adjust it. It automatically will kick you back out into the game. I think it's like an anti-cheat thing. It's the reason why they have it, set like that. But hey, we got what? Fifth place? That's still good enough with me. You know, this is the second time I've only played the Galaxy version of this game. So, that's CFT. You know, don't go on my gameplay by it. You know, if you want to test it out for yourself, go right ahead. But I can tell you right now, with this newer version, this new version of TFT, you're going to have a harder time just throwing it out there. Um, otherwise, you know, I say stick with Summoner's Rift. You know, there's Aram, which is just like a one bridge thing. Eh, that one's okay. I mean, you choose random characters and you good portion of time you'll end up with characters you've never played before. So good luck. But either way, uh, like I said, this is a bonus video. I apologize if you see any black bars on the top or bottom screen. And uh, catch you guys in the next uh, game video. Thanks, guys.